Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the guys in the first power play unit, uh, you know, warmed down, making plays. Uh, we weren't getting the bounces, and then, you know, uh, we put a different uh, personnel out there, kept it simple, got a shot to net, and, you know, luckily it uh, went in. But that's a huge face-off win there by uh, Wendy to keep that puck alive, so that's huge. Hey, coming into this game, you guys had a couple of days off. How important were those days, not only to rest, but really kind of hit the reset button, knowing how badly you wanted to get back into the win column tonight? Yeah, I think those those uh, days of rest, especially with the way the schedule is this year, that's uh, very important. And we knew this this road trip is going to be a grind. It's a long one. We play against some very good teams, and you know, uh, got to be patient in some of these games and let, uh, don't let the game come to us. But we got to take it uh, teams right away. And you know, we got two uh, more uh, games here on the road against Tampa, and those are going to be really important too. This team is so close. It's such a good dressing room. There's so much chemistry. How happy for you, were you for Radko Gudis to see him get his first as a Florida Panther? I think if you looked at the bench and uh, saw the reaction from everyone, everyone was super <laughs> pumped for him. He's a great guy. Uh, he's a warrior back there for us, and uh, when he gets a goal, it's always great. Congratulations on the win, Frank. Thanks so much for the time. Thanks a lot. That little losing streak uh, in, in a fashion like that was such an exciting goal. Yeah, 100%. Um, we're going in this game with uh, knowing that we need to win this one. Um, obviously, losing three, it's never... never fun but uh i know we had this in us and we didn't get bounces last few games and uh i thought we just were in ourselves and i thought today was a step in the right direction and i'm um, really happy that the guys battled a bit in the end and took us 64 65 minutes but uh you know we got it done and that's, that's the most important thing for us right now and on your goal there was a lot of joy from from everyone on the team just what was that moment like in your first as a panther yeah <laughs> a lot of excitement finally got one through uh i got a little lucky there but uh you know uh, really happy they went through and uh it was pretty, uh, pretty exciting time for me to see, uh, see all the guys being uh, pumped for me. So it was, uh, it was pretty good. Thank you. We'll go to David DeWork, Local 10. Hey, Radko. Just uh, talking about your goal, if I would have told you you were going to score on a bar down goal, you probably would have pictured something a little different than that, right? Yeah, 100%. But, uh, you know, I'm lucky. Uh, I got lucky there. I'm happy when then. And, uh, uh, you know, looking forward for a few more. And how nice is it just to, to wrap up the, the road trip with, with the big, or not the road trip, but this part of the road trip with a big win ahead into Tampa to wrap it up there, you know, with some momentum? Yeah, obviously, we didn't, uh, we didn't like the, uh, the performance of ours these uh, first three games, so it was important for us to come and play a uh, play solid game today, and I thought we did that. It's, uh, it's a pretty good team on the other side, and they're pushing for their playoff spot, so they, uh, they, gave, us, uh, they gave us a lot of different looks, and I thought we, uh, we held our ground, and we looked, uh, we looked pretty strong in our, in our end. George Richards, Hey, Radko, sorry you didn't get the game winner there, but uh, you allowed Frank Petrano to get another one. Uh, what's it like watching that guy, I mean, score clutch goal after clutch goal for you guys? Oh, he's, uh, he's a shooter, you know. He's, uh, he's a fun to, fun to watch. He's fast. He's got a great shot. He's, uh, he's been great for us this year, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to see him every, every game do something else. And uh, he's, been, he's been a treat to... Uh, to watch and it's fun to see him uh, connect and score these big goals for us. You guys have to have some confidence when you see him out there in those situations, eh? Yeah, hundred percent. He's, a, I think he's a great player. You know, he uh, he knows what he's doing. Uh, he does some little things that uh, that really help our team. And you know, he's got that great shot that's uh, that's making the other team pay. So it's it's fun to see him uh, be this successful. And last one for me, Chris Drieger tonight. Uh, some unbelievable saves. Just what what's you know when you see guys a goalie make go saves like those has to feel pretty good. Yeah, he was solid back there tonight. Um, I thought he made some great saves, especially in the third there when we got scored the second goal. The, the stick save there that was uh, it was really something for us. And uh, didn't uh, we bend it? Didn't break? You know, he was a big part of that, and uh, we got the two points out of there. Thanks. What's that feel like, man? I mean, you've you've done it so many times. Those those, those big goals. But what, what kind of lift is that when you when you actually put one in? Yeah, it's, it's huge, especially, uh, you know, late in the season. We're trying to move up the standings. We're trying to put ourselves in a great spot here. Uh, come playoffs, a tough road trip, but, you know, anytime you score a goal, it's unbelievable feeling, whether it's a game winner or, a, you know, a goal to put your team uh, within reach. So, um, you know, great effort all around by the guys tonight. And I know you've got to have confidence in those situations. Uh, you just rear back and fire, right? Yep, got a great pass, great plays uh, all around, and, no, I put him in the net. Thanks, man. Nick Garrido, Channel 7, WSBM. Hey, Frank, just want to get your thoughts on your, on your goalie tonight. Obviously, he had one of those, uh, you know, save of the year candidates there in the third. But what can you say about him just kind of keeping you guys in it when you guys were struggling for a little bit there in the third? 
Yeah, uh, he's been great for us all year. He's definitely a guy we can rely on back there and kind of joke with him a little bit. I was right there in front. I was like, ah, in the back of my head, I thought that went in for sure. But, you know, a little bit, I was right there in front. I was like, ah, in the back of my head, I thought that went in for sure. But, you know, watching the replay, he made a great desperation shave, uh, save to keep that out. And that was huge for us, turning point. Jameson Olive, FloridaPanthers.com. Hey, Frank, I know we've asked you a couple of times, maybe to pinpoint, you know, where this clutchness is coming from. And But aside from that, just how much confidence is this building up in you just time and time again when these goals keep coming, especially heading into, you know, bigger games as the playoffs get closer? Yeah, it's big. Uh, you know, I love scoring goals. And, you know, it's it's nice to be putting some of those opportunities sometimes. And, um, you know, it's just luck of the draw with me just putting them in at the right times right now. Uh, I'll, I'll take them when I can get them. Thank you. David Wilson, Miami Herald. Hey, Frank. Uh, obviously, snap that three-game losing streak. Just just how important was that? You guys haven't had a lot of losing streaks this year, just knowing how tight this division is. Yeah. Uh, you know, we weren't too happy with our past three games, with our compete level and how we were executing. And, you know, we took uh, some time off there. We got some time off. It's kind of rare this season, kind of sit back and talk about what we need to do better and had a great practice yesterday, had a good morning skate. And, Got right back at it. I knew what we needed to do, and that's what we did tonight. Goal that kind of went up off your back, and then tonight you get to watch one from the other end that kind of flutters in and over the top. So do you feel that kind of even things out a bit? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we'd, we'd kind of been getting the short end of the balances a few times, so it's nice to just get one off a stick up and over. And, and uh, you know, ultimately, we, we probably don't win without that one. So uh, it's, it's nice to see those go in. And how nice is it just to be able to get that win and put the losing streak behind you and move forward with, with a nice W? Yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, our last few games haven't been our best, but, uh, you know, that's a huge, great road win for us. And uh, we're going to have some fresh bodies in Tomatoes and Tampa. So I think we'll spark boys and uh, get us back on track here. Katie Goss, Valley Sports Florida. Well, Driggs, we got to ask, you know, that save you made there mere, you know, millimeters from crossing the line. You know, when, when the puck is going back like that, what's going through your head? Is anything going through your head? You just rely on just automatic instincts. Uh, obviously, having that long wingspan made a huge difference there. Yeah, on those ones, I, you just, you know, it, it kind of pinballs around in front of me a little bit, ends up hitting a skate, and it's going straight in, and... You just go, like you said, straight instinct mode. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I <laughs> was just able, I think, to catch it with the hook of my, my blade there. So those uh, those can always go the opposite way. So um, it's nice when uh, those go your way. David Wilson, Miami Herald. Hey, Chris. Uh, you, you and Bob have obviously kind of had this alternating games at this point, and both of you have been playing well. Just how well is that system, do you feel, kind of working? You guys are both, seems like, fresh every game, and, and there have not really been a lot of duds from a goaltending perspective. Yeah, you know what? Um, with the schedule that we have, it's, it's really, really jam-packed. So, um, you know, even playing, like, we're playing every second game, and we're still playing two games a week, basically. So in a normal season, um, you know, that's kind of what you play as a starter. So... It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of hockey, but uh, that alternating has really been keeping us fresh. Um, you know, I, I felt great every time I've gone in that there. I think it's uh, doing our bodies some favors, so it's been uh, it's been really positive for both of us. I'm curious, what was the last week with the trade deadline? I'm sure you you saw your name mentioned a little bit out there. Did, I don't know, did you, I don't know, did, did Bill Zito or, or Coach Q at any point, like, kind of tell you you're staying? Just what was the last week, last couple of days like for you? Um, yeah, no, I, I think um, there was a little bit of buzz, um, you know, a few weeks ago, maybe a week ago, but uh, it's, I, I mean, no one really talked to me, but uh, we made a couple of trades I wasn't involved in, and um, it's, it seemed like, you know, I was kind of here to stay. So um, that being behind us, it's, it's great, and now we can just look forward to, uh, you know, completing a great season and uh, moving into playoffs. This game, especially that, that wild goal line save there in the third period to keep you guys in it. A miraculous save. Um, well, that was by the, the thinnest of margins. And uh, and then the other side, big save on Pavelski as well. So he had uh, two huge saves there late. Um, you know, I, I think that that's one of those things. I thought tonight we did a lot more uh, the harder things than we did in the last couple of games. I thought we were a lot more uh, consistent in the effort. And uh, but Dredge is uh, coming up with a, some really good performances here, and uh, you know the guys are happy for him. And uh, but it was a hard fought game for us. Thank you, David Wilson, Miami Herald. 
Hey, Joel. Uh, Drew was talking about the the fact that the schedule is so jam packed. The him and Bob alternating is obviously working really well. Um, the amount, you know, keeping them fresh with the amount of games you're playing. Just, just how important do you think it is maybe this year compared to other years to have two really capable goaltenders like those two guys? Well, I think you're seeing more and more tandems in the in the last few years, uh, whether it's based on injuries, based on needs, based on performance. Um, and uh, guys are sharing the net uh, over a course of the season at some point. And uh, this season uh, with the you know, closeness of games, um, fatigue could be a factor, wear and tear. Um, you know, I think that uh, performance, all the reasons why we're we've been alternating them has been uh, evident that they, they both turn the net and they both, uh, you know, make it hard for us uh, on, on changing things. So it was a, uh, it's it's where it's at now. And uh, but they, they've been uh, they've both been good. Dreed's coming through a real good stretch himself and. Um, you know, we're going to go into Tampa with some meaningful games. Uh, we put ourselves in a good spot. Uh, you know, they got a game in hand, but it's a, uh, you know, the race is back on for us, knowing that we lost a lot of ground there, but we're still in the mix. George Richards, Florida Hockey now. Hey, Joel, uh, we got the news on Carter Verhage before the game. Uh, what what happened there? Was that something that happened before or today? Or It happened late in the last game. Okay, so he was doubtful today then coming in? No, we knew he wasn't playing. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Um, what about Anthony DeClaire? Any update on him from tonight? Uh, I didn't hear anything afterwards. Um, I think he's going to be okay, but I haven't heard uh, I haven't heard that. For, uh, I could be, you know, hopefully there's no surprise there, but, uh, you know, I thought he played a heck of a game too. Yeah, and it looked like that, that Jamie Ben the trip was right in front of you. What are your thoughts on that? I didn't know, but I, I thought it was a penalty. I don't know if there's anything more. I mean, at least, you know, sometimes, you know, they might, uh, in three on three, they might let things go. But, I, I, you know, it, it was nice. Uh, they, you know, they watch for uh, a minute and change, and then they get out there and they score a big quick one. So, great, happy for Frankie. He scores some big goals for us and a great shot and a uh, good way to end it. Right, thank you. We'll take two more. We'll go to Nick Garrido, Channel 7, WSBN, followed by David DeWar, Local 10. Hey, Coach, I uh, just want to get your thoughts on going back to that Drieger save. Did you think kind of it, that it went in as you were watching it live, or what kind of angle did you have on it? And also, just Frankie said it kind of changed the momentum of the game. Do you feel like that save kind of got you guys back into gear a little bit? No, it was a huge save. Uh, the referee was emphatic that uh, he was sure that the puck didn't go in. Um, he had a pretty good view of it. Then when you watch the replay, there's something funny about it that looks like, oh, my God, that's close. And then, uh, you know, we've been victimized on a kind of comparable couple of plays this year where was it uh, was it in? It should have been in, could have been in. And uh, so we got our turn there on the other side of it. And uh, But it was a great reflex of player, reflex uh, by Dreej. And, uh, you know, I couldn't have gotten any stretched anymore and, and got fortunate and corralled it. So it was a uh, obviously huge uh, momentum potential swing in uh, their favor, knowing that uh, they they were coming. Hey, Joel, uh, just talking about Frankie Vitrano now, he's, I think, five uh, game-winning goals this season. It, you almost, like, kick yourself for not putting him out sooner in overtime in the way he's just been almost a magnet for these kind of big plays this year? All timing. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, but he does have uh, the flair for the big, uh, but he does make some nice shots, so he, you know, I think in uh, – you know, we want to shoot a lot, and uh, Frankie's got a great shot. He's, uh, you know, he's moved up on that power play unit there, and so he's getting uh, even more of a opportunity to play and use that uh, weapon of his. And um, But I thought he had a good game overall. I thought that line was very effective.